Hello everyone, it's Naushin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my September favorites or current beauty obsession, whatever you call it. So basically here I talk about my all beauty, hair care, skin care products that I have been loving lately. So without further ado, let's jump into that because I have quite a few products to share with you. Let's first start with an unsung hero. This is not like nobody has seen it on social media, but I haven't seen that many people talk about this palette or raving about it actually. So this is the Makeup Geek Kathleen Light Collaboration Highlighter Palette. I have been loving this stuff. This comes with three almost full size highlighters. I can see that the pants look a lot darker, but when you apply it on your face, they look incredible. They are not as dark as it shows on the pan. So even though if you have lighter skin tone, you'll be okay with that, trust me. These two shades here, this gold and the pink one, anyone can use it unless you have very, very pale skin, then it might be a little bit darker for you. But if you have like light or medium skin tone, it's gonna look great on you. And if you have tan skin, Definitely this color looks great. I mostly use these two shades even though I have NC42 skin. I can go with these and these shades. This pink a little bit too pink for me, at least for my choice, but I can totally use it on my skin as well. I have been loving this palette. I just love how it looks. It's pretty sleek and you are getting a ton of product here. Three almost full size highlighters and you are paying 39 bucks, so 13 bucks each. Great deal. I have been loving these palettes. I highly recommend this one. Next, I have this concealer. This is the third Shape Tape Concealer. I have already talked about it. I did a whole comparison video between this one and the Kat Von D Concealer. There I have mentioned that I would probably not repurchase it because at that time when I filmed that video, Tarte had only six shades and I didn't have the exact shade of my choice. So. In that comparison video, I mentioned that even though the texture of Kat Von D and this one is very, very similar, I would probably prefer the Kat Von D one. But after I filmed that video, I discovered that they have introduced few more shades. So I was pretty intrigued by that and I got another shade. And ever since then, I have been loving this. So I have been mixing these two colors. I have got another darker shade for me. So loving this concealer. Still, I use my Urban Decay concealer for my day-to-day look but um, this is pretty full coverage so I use it when I need some extra coverage. The next product I have discovered when I was just you know shopping around Ulta I haven't thought that this is gonna be so good so this is the Essence I Love Stage Primer this is only three bucks guys but this works as good as any high-end primers. I have been loving this stuff this works perfectly on my eyelid it has a little bit of tint that I like because it cancels out the darkness on the eyelid I love this stuff. I highly recommend it and it's only three bucks. So great product. The next product is a bit expensive for what it does. So this is a lash glue from Huda Beauty. This was always out of stock, but recently I have seen that they have restocked it. So I decided to try it out because, you know, I have been always using that duo lash glue. I have also used the House of Lashes glue, which I like by the way, but I was not 100% satisfied. So I was always on a hunt for a good lash glue and when I saw that this one came back in stock, I decided to order it because I love Huda Beauty products in general. I love her lashes. You have probably seen me wearing that in my almost all makeup tutorials. So I decided to try it and I'm so glad that I gave it a try. So this claims to be waterproof and also fast drying. I haven't tested the waterproof thing because I have never washed my face with the lashes on but I can say that this is really fast drying. I can just apply it and pop it on my eyes and this is really fast drying. And what I like about it is when I remove the lashes for most of the other glues I have used, they are, you know, they dry there with a thick texture. They are pretty sticky. So when I try to remove them, they kind of damage the lashes. But when I have used this one, I have seen that it just comes out like a thin bag. So the next product I have also mentioned in my recent makeup tutorial, I don't know whether you have noticed that, but this is the Sephora liquid liner with the high precision brush. I'm a gel eyeliner girl, guys, so I have been using my NARS gel eyeliner for the last couple of years. I haven't touched my liquid eyeliner. I was never satisfied with my liquid eyeliner, but you know, I was always on a hunt for a liquid eyeliner because sometimes when you have only five minutes to get ready, the gel eyeliners 
they are a little bit time consuming to use because you need to apply them with a the brush so i was always looking for a good liquid eyeliner which will be very intense black but at the same time which has the brush tip and easy to use that was the hardest combination to find i have tried hundreds of liquid eyeliners from drugstore and also from high end but couldn't find that combination most of the liquid eyeliners are very you know they have the shiny texture or they have the felt tip which i don't like so that was very hard to get anyways the sephora girl there when i mentioned her my requirements she recommended me this one and oh my god guys this brush is the perfect brush to create any winged eyeliner this has made my winged liner process like a piece of cake i can now do my winged liner with like five minutes i haven't touched my gel eyeliner ever since i got it this is very intense black the only drawback it has is it's not waterproof so in seattle weather especially in winter when it is raining all the time i'm a little scared to wear that but other than that it's a great eyeliner and it's only 12 bucks highly recommend this product you can check that out let's talk about few eyeshadow palettes these are the palettes i have been loving lately so these are the juvia's place um, masquerade palette and the nubian 2 palette they are amazing guys they have the gigantic pants the mattes are okay but i mostly love the shimmery shades look at this masquerade palette let me show you guys these palettes are incredible and look at the size the pant size is gigantic i love the shimmery shades especially from this palette and i love the color combination they have some very bright colors in this masquerade palette and i have been loving this nubian palette for everyday looks so i highly recommend this palette the only thing is it has a smell i think that is coming from the talc they have used so that is something to keep that in mind that sometimes bothers me but other than that they blend amazingly on the eyes and the next palette i have got it recently at the beginning of this month but i have also done a whole review video on this palette and a quick look on that so this is the huda beauty rose gold edition textured palette i know the most eye-catching part is the foil shades on this palette but I have been totally loving these matte shades in the bottom two rows and I've been reaching for them a lot lately because um, I can just take out this palette and I can complete the whole look. It has the highlighter, transition shade, matte black, everything. So when I am just on the go, I can just take out this palette and just finish one look. I don't need to reach out for other palettes for my highlighter color or a perfect black shade. So that's the whole reason that I have been reaching for this palette more than any other palette in my collection lately then i have a skincare product so this is a face oil from chorus this is their wild rose face oil i have tried it actually in front of you guys in a speak sample with me video a couple of months back and i really like that product that i decided to get the full size so i have got it a month back and you can see how much love i have given to this product i'm almost running out of it and i'm sad because this is a bit pricey this is 55 bucks i have used it a lot that's why i'm probably running out in a month you can probably get use of it a little more so this comes how much is the weight where is that so yeah this is 30 ml of product so one fluid ounce but this is 55 bucks it's a bit expensive but what i like about this face oil is it's not too greasy it just sinks into your skin but it gives the perfect hydration that stays for the long time i use it in the morning i use it even before makeup and it just works perfectly even with my foundation as well and definitely i use it at night before applying any thick moisturizer as well my last favorite is a hair product so this is a dry shampoo from aveda i'm very picky about dry shampoo i feel like it makes my hair a little bit heavy and i don't know i just don't feel like the you know the feel of the dry shampoo in general so i'm always in a good hunt for a good dry shampoo that is a little bit lightweight that doesn't leave any white cast so i tried quite a few but i must say guys this one is pretty good still i don't like dry shampoos but this one i can tolerate a little more so it doesn't leave any heavy feeling on my head after i use it and it doesn't leave any white cast so far i really like it i also like the dry bar um dry shampoo but that has the most awful smell i cannot tolerate it so that one is a good product but i cannot tolerate the smell if you can tolerate the smell you can try that one too but this one has a very pleasant smell and 
it is in powder form so you have to just press the bottle and the product will come out it doesn't leave any white cast it's pretty lightweight so i highly recommend this product if you are looking for a good dry shampoo so that's all my favorite for this month guys but i have a fail so this is the Fursali volcanic elixir you have probably seen their rose gold version the white bottle all over instagram and youtube already i have also got the rose gold version that is okay if not overwhelming but this product particularly this is their volcanic elixir which is their nighttime version and that is supposed to be more thicker and richer so um when i was checking out with the rose gold version they had a promotion that if i get it i get some discount so i decided to try that out too but oh my god guys this feels so greasy this has the weirdest smell like the coconut oil this feels awful on the face it's really thick it doesn't sink into my skin it I don't know it has the weirdest feeling I almost feel like washing my face after using it so I try to use it for two three nights it works okay but I cannot tolerate it on my skin it just doesn't absorb on the skin it feels greasy oh my god oh my god the total feelings is awful so don't get it the white one is okay but don't get this one so that's all the products I have been loving lately guys. I really hope that you have enjoyed hanging out with me and I'll talk to you soon in my next one. Bye bye beauties.